I've sunk an enemy destroyer. In the battle's fiery test, Lucian proves she stands the best. With her crew, none can contest, leading her fleet with death. Lucian, fierce on. Team, this is Ripper here. Hope you guys are doing fantastic today. Got a fun video with the Lucian and a very, very powerful ship that I did. Right. Like I said, I first when I first got this thing, I did not think this thing was, you know, I would say eye catching, overwhelming, whatever that might be. But man, is this thing powerful and maybe borderline of the next um, new destroyer hunter killer that I think is really something to look at. But before we get in, like, subscribe button below. Appreciate all the support on the channel. If you see value in the um, the video. Uh, leave a comment below and hit that like button. And as always, thank you so much. I have 4,000 subs to do another premium giveaway. So here we go. Lucian, uh, Hunter Killer, Destroyer. Man, this thing is powerful. I am not afraid of this thing. Um, but to go up against anything, I'm not afraid at all because look what I got. I have 1.5 second reload with Fearless Brawler in the background to activate as well. And I haven't even activated Adrenaline Rush. It's got the super heals. Uh, in like an advanced repair party. However, they do trickle over time, hence that little symbol of the clock right here. Um, if you want to take a look at it, it uh, restores a significant part of the HP over a long period of time, which means it can re you know heal back a lot, a lot of HP, like literally almost half your ship. But it's a heavy repair team, but it takes so long uh, not only the cooldowns a little bit long, but it also takes long to do it over a long period of time like we talked about. Hydro is a very unique hydro of 5.5 kilometer detection, which is awesome. Almost kind of like right below the Z42, Z40, um, uh, Z42, Z, uh, what, Z52 uh kind of mentality z what is it z44 z42 i forgot which one it is that was the research bureau i i'm uh, sorry it's morning <laughs> a lot of numbers in my head so z52 and the z42 that's right those are the ones that have that six kilometer hydro so 5.5 is not the nagak it actually is kind of almost there but it's decent enough for what it to do because why the detection on this thing is 5.8 if you see right there 5.8 and the detection, which means you're going to spot a majority of destroyers out there first. If they decide to hide in smoke, you already kind of have that velocity inbound. And then you can use that hydro with 5.5. You only need to drive in another 5.3 kilometers. So this eliminates a lot of those smoke problems. And it's a long lasting one because it's not unlike radar. Hydro lasts, is a, lasts a little bit longer than most. So here's that 1.3 second reload. Look at that. I am not afraid to take on battleships as well because battleship players these days, although they're, you know, I would say in clan battles is very good aiming, but a majority of players on the average side, very poor aiming, I would have to say. So I'd usually take in, again, when we're playing against ranked or randoms, I'm going to take a little bit more of a aggressive approach because I'm going under the impression that most players just don't know how to aim. And you can really juke a lot of these shells as well especially if you're kiting or running away i'm not afraid to do it and if they hit me they're activating my adrenaline rush which i want them to do and i'm also i've got the long repair party so there's another miss oh actually that hit a lot i don't know something wrong with the lag here on my computer but right there look at that heal the heal is kind of slowly bring me back to life and it's going to annoy the crap out of battleship players and i enjoy doing this battleship players out there if you see me out there you're going to know i'm going to fire at you because i want you to shoot at me don't fall into that trap because you're going to start deterring your attention away from the Wisconsin. Again, look at this. A Wisconsin coming right at you. And I'm going to distract you so much that you forget that you have a bigger threat on the horizon uh, that is coming, uh, which is the Wisconsin, which is a very, very powerful battleship that you're going to have to deal with, especially with a Burgonia's 32 mil plating and below kind of armor scheme. Uh, I don't really recommend you kind of push into bigger battleships or heavier battleships than... Uh, than you are anyways i'm going to start more fires here's another aspect of the illusion that i like it starts a lot a lot of fires now these things are pea shooters okay if you want to take a look this thing doesn't pack much of a wallop uh only uh 1400 maximum damage on the guns but they penetrate 22 millimeter but the look at the velocity of the guns coming out 950 meters per second that is a fast look at these arcs these arcs are incredible i love it most of the americans you're seeing them lob way over here and you're trying to leap 
these things, uh, uh look at this. This is kind of that Soviet style kind of bias shooting because these things are so great at arc projection as well as 950 meters per second it makes aiming so so enjoyable very very pleasurable and it's awesome and you can really hit now these things don't really pack much of a punch 231 231 you see but you got to put a lot of them on target which i like a lot and starting fire so you're putting so many shells down range they do do uh, they pack a lot of damage uh, in the long run and that's what i'm trying to do i am trying to literally survive and just shoot as many shells as I can and get them down range. Notice we're not pinning much, but we're getting that superstructure and it fires, and it is devastating, okay? This is the most annoying part of the game. It's like, hey, you got somebody just constantly just withering away, little paper cuts here and there, but guess what? Over time, paper cuts can lead to overall bleeding of the body right there. And there it is, splash one. He goes down. Uh, Wisconsin's got that nice uh, F funny button key and it gets you the F key back and he comes back to life and then we're, we're not too worried about him but we did our part we're a destroyer player being a nuisance player spotting tor torping doing everything we have to do now look I'm doing my job as a DD hunter killer I'm now using RPF to determine where is this threat right now the Kassar new French destroyer line out there uh, I can't wait to get my hands on it eventually uh, I'm not gonna do the early access review because yeah, it's just too expensive right now. I don't think it's worth it to get it, honestly. And, uh, yeah, it's just another uh, kind of French destroyer. And here we go. We spot him right off the bat. 5.8 concealment. Very, very good. We outspot him. First look, first kill. So that means we get our shots off right off the bat before he gets his shots off. And look at this damage. And, yeah, I don't care about French saturation. I'm just going to keep firing. That You know, literally at the rate of fire that we're getting, we're going to get so many shells out of range. And, boom, he cannot absorb it. He was low health anyway, so it doesn't matter. But that's the beauty about having you know, this uh, the Lushan. You can literally heal back and come back to life. And that's the, the power of this thing is to get into engagements, lose a lot of health, and then come back to life. And a small one. Look, he was already low health at the beginning, so now we're just going to pile a bunch of shells into his structure, and boom, splash three. He goes down, and here we go, our last camaraderie here, Lucian's. So it's Lucian versus Lucian's here. Notice I'm firing AP at the back. I'm trying to see if the AP does, but we're notice we're getting a lot of overpins. Power, AP is very, very powerful on, like, heavier skin um, where it lets the fuse uh, the arm itself a little bit longer. But because of light skin and low, I would say, width of the ship, I'm getting a lot of overpins, so I recommend shooting uh, HE um, more. And notice he's firing HE. He's getting a lot of damage as well. I almost died there right there, so we understand what the power of HE and AP can do. I was trying both to see which one's better. Honestly, HE is a lot, lot better on the lighter skin, what, uh, I would say more narrow kind of ships. Look at that. And uh, I, I recommend AP more on heavier, thicker kind of things. Let the, f the uh, fuse arm a little bit longer. Here's the Lucian number one right there. Yeah, a lot, a lot of damage, a lot of fires uh, for what we were doing right there. Pretty awesome. And let's take a look at another video and then see how powerful it can be. And man, this thing really bullies destroyers on the map. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's another map, Islands of Ice with the Lucians. And th this is actually a clan battle map, but I'm not really caring about the strategy of this, but just the sheer power of what the Lucians can do, especially coupled with a Marceau. Oh my gosh, this thing is literally devastating. And so, so, it, it does the role so very well that um, I, I just can't overlook it because the power of the concealment, the hydro, the, the heals, and the gun power, man, this thing is almost borderline OP broken. But anyway, look how annoying it can be to fight, especially again, two versus one here. Two versus one. I would not normally do this. You normally don't want to pick a two versus one fight. You want to kind of like isolate those battles and choose your battles wisely because you cannot really absorb this much damage. Two, two versus one is just not a fair fight any day. So you don't want to pick an unfair fight for yourself. You want to dish out the unfair fight. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and kite away. Very good tactic right there. You notice that my health was went down to almost 11,000. But look at the heals. The heal can bring the ship back to life, and that's the power and the annoying factor of what it can do. No different than a Kabarovsk or something else that's out there that's just annoying to shoot at. Jukes shells a lot better. I mean, you're, even though you're shooting a bunch of shells at it, it just doesn't kill it. Another aspect of this um, uh, kind of role is the Kleber Marceau, where you're shooting so many shells at it, but the French saturation just shows, hey, I'm shooting a bunch and getting a lot of hits, but just not doing enough damage. So this is another aspect of the style of destroyer gameplay that makes it annoying to play. Again, it's because it's so difficult to kill this thing, especially when it runs away and starts healing up again, right? So that's exactly why I think it's so, so powerful. Now, here we go. Now we've isolated the fight. Daring is running away, not looking at us. And this is where the, the gun power reload of this thing shot comes into play because we're not getting a lot of hits and they're not doing a lot of damage. But the amount of volume of shells coming out of the guns at 950 meters per second is, is very, very powerful and very devastating, especially at these ranges, okay? Now, they decide to smoke up. Now, that is almost a bad thing sometimes for a destroyer to smoke. 
smoke up and try to hide in it because with the Lucian uh, chasing your tail with a 5.5 kilometer hydro, very, very devastating because it just reveals you. And with no spotting, that means you're stuck in that smoke and the, the, the hydro can reveal your position all day if nobody is spotting you, okay, or, or helping you spot if you're in the smoke. The other aspect of this thing is, is it's got good speed. I mean, for what it's doing, uh, it's doing 37.9 knots max uh, for, uh, for the speed flag and everything. And I think that's a decent speed for a destroyer. Uh, it, it's just, even though it's one knot over, maybe a gearing or something else like that, actually, no. And any other slow destroyer that goes about 36, 37, that's 37.9 is pretty fairly decent for what it can do. And you can do it to chase down destroyers or go cap points. So here we go. Look at this. Just sheer amount of firepower and good gun angles. I and mean, we're angling into this thing, into the daring. And look, we're just putting about 1,300. If we get all shells locked in on that, his uh, full broadside right there, we are getting a lot of damage. And look, I can just use the front gun because the reload's so fast and boom, splash one. There you go. He goes down. And now we're going to go hunt the other destroyer and we're going to heal back all that health that he just, all that work he did. Now look, this ship, 11,288. Let's see now. We're still healing, and he's not. He doesn't have heal, so Summers is going to just absorb all this damage, and it's permanent, and it sticks. Now, here we go. He is permanently spotted by something. Uh, yeah, the radar from the Moskva is constantly spotting him, and he can't, he can't do anything about it. He's in the smoke, and he's just going to have to absorb all the damage. He's fully revealed, and boom, splash two. That guy goes down. All destroyers eliminated on this side right here just by the Lucians uh, with the help of Marceau. And so, so powerful, man. Devastating. So annoying to kill. And look at all that health. Coming right back. Coming right back to 8,500, man. We were supposed to die at least two times ago, right? But anyways, this thing is a zombie ship kind of mentality where, you know what? I keep on taking the punishment, and I'll keep on ch churning along and keep on firing my guns and just being that annoying player. And here we go. The, dis the torpedoes are also deep water torpedoes, which are a 0.8 detection, uh, which gives you a very, very small amount of time to react to. And they are also devastating. And pack a wallop out to 11 kilometers, which is a very good, eh, I would say decent range. I mean, uh, tw I would like to have them at 12. 12 is a good kind of a sweet spot to have out there. But then again, hey, we're not going to be too, too greedy. I think 11 is good enough to make not make this thing too, too overpowered. And look at this amount of shells we're going to pump in now i would also recommend if for a little heavier our ap ap would work on his armor scheme uh i mean ap can do some devastating work on some like uh thin and some thick cruisers but they are awesome but you know what we're starting fires there that's what we want to do so our fires all over this guy notice that we are so a threat that he switches his guns from the marceau and goes straight for us but little to a little avail he gets a lot of hits but you know what boom splash three he goes down and we just damage con all that fire and guess what we have for heal coming back in 35 seconds and we're going to heal back all that damage we lost isn't that incredible of what the lucians can do uh on uh, any kind of uh, engagement with destroyers cruisers and battleships anyways but that is the battle right there um Man, there's nothing, I can't say too too many more things about this thing. This thing is incredible. Unfortunately, it's a dockyard event thing on a thing, so you can't just go out right and get it right now. But man, I'm telling you, when you find a destroyer in those dockyard events, definitely, definitely worth the grind. Try it out. But man, this is a powerful show. Build will be at the end of this video. As always, hope you guys are doing Let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, thanks for your support. Appreciate everything you guys have been doing for building a great community, making this a better place to make friends and share ideas and have a blast doing it. As always, you guys stay safe. You see me out there. Stay high and take care. We'll see you soon. Cheers.